What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and as part of my Does It Suck series, we're going to be taking a look at the Yellow Jacket today. Now the Yellow Jacket is a unique shock-only Hyperion Plasma Caster that drops from Jackenstein in the third campaign DLC, Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt. Now this weapon really isn't that different from a normal shock plasma caster made by Hyperion. We can see here that it has a slightly increased mag size and it does have increased damage. The rest of the stats pretty much remain constant other than this one having a slightly higher chance to apply a shock damage over time. Now the big difference between these two weapons though is that the Yellow Jacket shoots incredibly slow moving projectiles. Keep in mind here that I have it with the accelerated prefix which is proactive for Hyperion weapons so it has the accessory that increases fire rate slightly and makes bullets move significantly faster. And I am also uh, specced in to accelerate with five points and then I have another five points from my legendary cat class mod. So that's actually increasing bullet speed by 40%. So you can imagine without the 40% increase to bullet speed and without the accelerated prefix and accessory that this particular weapon would shoot very slow moving projectiles which would actually hold it back very very badly in my opinion it would make it almost impossible to hit a moving target and it would make it just overall more difficult to use um, for perspective a normal Hyperion Plasma Caster with these damage boosts shoots a lot quicker as you can see though this one does have a lot of sway we'll see if the Yellow Jacket has quite that much sway it also has quite a bit of sway because it's Hyperion but it gets accurate pretty quickly you can see all those were pretty much in a line there with the 10 points in Foresight, it has a magazine size of 91, which will give us 46 shots from the mag because each shot is going to take 2 ammo. This one only has a magazine size of 84, so, you know, we get a few more shots off with the Yellow Jacket. And so we're going to go here into the Barroom Blitz and see how the Yellow Jacket actually um, performs here, you know, taking out all of these badass enemies and everything like that. I expect it to do okay. Um, the main drawback of this weapon, like I said, is the fact that it has those slow moving projectiles. However, since we can phase lock enemies, we'll be able to actually keep them in place and the slow moving projectiles will only basically hurt us for that extra moment that it takes for the rounds to actually get to the target. Other than that, we should be doing pretty well. I'm gonna have to kill another, Ah, I phase locked a guy right as the badass spawn, that was a mistake. We'll see if we get some spawning down here now or not. So obviously I'm using a cat mod here that's going to boost SMG damage by quite a bit. Now we need to go upstairs and find one of those big guys and see how quickly we can take him out. We got two big guys here, so I guess that's a good thing. Wow, it's actually eating through that guy's health pretty quickly there. Keep in mind that it is basically just a higher damage um, plasma caster, and Hyperion plasma casters are traditionally pretty powerful and popular weapons. Now I don't see the Yellow Jacket used too much, um, primarily because you basically have to have these uh, you know, projectile speed increases to make it viable, otherwise it would be a smarter idea just to use a regular Hyperion Plasma Caster. However, if you have these particular uh, speed boosts, the weapon is very damaging actually. Um, so much so that I might use it if I was making a plasma caster cat mod you know build here you know because it is so damaging it has that increased damage we'll look at the damage increase here um, it looks like it's increased by you know um, about 22,000 per round and that's pretty decent a little under 10% um, damage increase and also the magazine size increase you know and so if you've got ways to make up for the fact that uh, the weapon is going to have the decreased bullet speed like that you know you should be all right actually life tap and the slag transfusion grenade kept me alive there so that was good news even though I only have one point in life tap at overpower level 8 you're doing so much more damage than you have health that one point is usually enough to keep you alive there I don't think this weapon has any increased critical hit modifier over a normal Hyperion SMG however obviously if you're getting critical hits you're going to wreck things pretty damn quickly so, you know, this gun, pretty decent actually, definitely doesn't suck, it just has that main drawback there of uh, the bullet speed being really slow. However, um, since Maya has phase lock, you can kind of make up for that a little bit, and also you can make up for it via the boost 
to projectile velocity from the prefix slash accessory and also the 10 points in accelerate that you get when you're using the legendary cat class mod and that's pretty solid. As you can see we're able to work through the barroom blitz here with no real problems and so I will say that the yellow jacket does not suck it just has that one main problem with it which is the slow projectile speed however you can see here um, when I have these bullet speed increases that the projectile speed is not unmanageable however you definitely have to get it with the right parts and everything like that and you will probably have to use a legendary cat class mod which you'd probably want to use anyway because of the you know boost to damage and also all of those other skills that are gonna help it out especially accelerate and also wreck because you know you get that extra fire rate and damage and reaper as well basically the legendary cat class mod boosts five solid skills that will help you out anyways as always guys i thank you very much for watching if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments this weapon's not a particularly difficult farm it drops from jackenstein fairly often and if you can kind of get a pattern down for killing jackenstein easy i imagine you could find one with the accelerated prefix um, in, a, in a decent amount of time. It would definitely take a little while because he's a tough boss to kill and everything, but this weapon is definitely not unobtainable. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. Otherwise, I hope to catch you next time. Bye, bye guys.